Hey, this is Martin Luther McCoy from San Francisco, California, and we are at Cafe Alma. To find way out I believe the artistic practice is to explore, especially to excavate whatever it might be inside of you or even outside of you. It is to try and to fail and to learn from the failure. What does it mean to be a black artist? I guess whatever it means to someone who has a definition for themselves as to what black is. For example, my music is rock and roll. It's rock and soul. It comes from the bowels of the canons of American artistry, which hail back or harken back to the African diaspora. So turn off that radio, come and join the crusade. My father is a black man, and one of the projects that I'm working on now is entitled Son of a Black Man, because it's a difference. I can't tell you what it's like being a son of a white man. As an artist, areas of support that are needed are myriad. It's just about getting the message and the information out. Two, it's about having a place to present your work and then working in a community and uniquely thanks to the Dream Keepers Initiative, thanks to Zako Dance Theater, thanks to the city of San Francisco, thanks to the patrons of the Bayview Hunters Point community. We need support in knowing that it doesn't just require the latest trend or the, the hot, slick new idea or the shiny, shimmery visual or the, the, the dancers or whatnot, all those images and messages can be important as well. And I'm constantly working on trying to figure out a new way that I can get my message out to the people. It could be the medium of film, it could be the media of music and that kind of production is also with theater. We need all this support, you know, for all these different types of reasons, but I don't mean to ramble, I just get lost in thought sometimes. And I believe the pandemic has uh, shown many of us that we have to be flexible because we, we don't always know what's going to come. No one could have expected something that would come and shut the entire world down and our artistry and our messages and our desires to perform and to create and to share. Um, we had to do it in a vacuum. We had to do it unto ourselves. We had to work on it in, you know, in front of a mirror with no audience for a couple of years. And now we have the opportunity to get back in front of people. So this residency has shown me that I'm resilient and um, very creative. This is a Bayview engagement.